<sighs> I don't care. Welcome to Ranger Reviews, a web series where we look at episodes of the TV show Power Rangers and then discuss them. Today we're exploring the 49th episode of the show Power Rangers Zio, as well as the 204th episode overall titled Hawaii Zio. We start this episode out in the desert where Jason is fighting cogs that have surrounded him. Then we see that the other rangers are there too, also fighting off the cogs. Then suddenly, Jason starts weakening and he gets knocked down. Gasket and Archerina appear before Jason, demanding the Gold Ranger powers. Then Sprocket shows up, telling Gasket that Mondo wants to speak with him. The other rangers rush over to Jason and they teleport out as the Machine Empire argue. Jason falls to the ground in the power chamber and he demorphs. Also, they bring attention to Tommy wearing a band-aid for some reason. And Zordon says that Jason must be overexerting himself and his powers could be becoming intermittent. Sprocket then tells Gasket that Orbis can make him grow giant and Gasket agrees, leaving with his wife. Sprocket and Clank then talk about how this is all a plan to get Gasket killed. At the youth center, Jason, Tanya, and Adam meet up with Tommy and Kat and I guess whatever tests they did were negative. So Jason just has to be careful. Then Tommy asks Kat what she's doing later and it's super awkward. Adam and Jason ask why he didn't just ask her out and Tanya says, duh, she wants that dick. Tommy acts surprised and he says if he's even going to ask her out, it should be for the perfect first date. Then Ernie comes in with Lays talking about his trip to Hawaii. He's planning to throw a luau at the beach club. Tommy thinks that this will be the perfect time for his first date with Kat. In the detective office, Bulk and Skull show up finding that Stone is gone and they plan to take a nap. Then Stone is actually there and they're moving envelopes around and Stone starts screaming at them. He says they need to pay the bills, so they need to get a case for themselves soon. Then at the youth center, Rocky and Tommy are sparring, but Tommy stops paying attention because he sees Kat. Rocky pushes him forward to go ask her out and he walks over to Kat who is teaching ballet. Tommy then awkwardly comes over and he asks if she heard about Ernie's luau and he stumbles through his words asking Kat if she'd like to go on a date with him to it. She agrees and honestly this is the first time I've actually ever seen true chemistry between these two. Ernie gets harassed by Bulk and Skull asking if he needs security for the luau and Ernie eventually agrees giving them the job. He also tells them that they'll have to dress the part. In the power chamber, Alpha says that he's going to reach out the tray to figure out what the hell is going on with Jason. And Zordon flat out lies and says that he feared that this would happen to Jason. Shut up, Zordon. At the beach club, Jesus Christ, uh, Bulk and Skull are dressed like super racist. Tommy and Kat show up together separately from the others and Ernie tells them that they're not authentic so they need to go wash off their racist makeup and whatnot. Tanya also stops the others from bugging Tommy and Kat. Then Ernie says that he needs some volunteers and Tanya drags all the other rangers over with her and Emily and Jason and Emily flirt while they dance some hula. Gasket is there too, planning to ambush the party with the cogs. I like how everyone has color-coded Hawaiian shirts. Then Ernie introduces the main event, the Island Dancers. They're actually just cogs and grass skirts who start rushing through the crowd, destroying everything. Also, Emily is apparently bored with this attack. The rangers get everyone out of there and Ernie laments how he never should have hired Bulk and Skull as security because they've done nothing. I mean, what do you expect them to do? It's morphin' time. The rangers then flip onto the scene, taking on all the cogs on the beach. Gasket and Archerina are there too, talking smack to the rangers. Clank then comes out, and he says that the rangers are in for a surprise, and suddenly, Gasket and Archerina are giant. Jason says he'll handle the cogs, because of course. Also, the other rangers caught the Zeozords forming the Zeomegazord. This episode has a lot of padding, because this sequence takes forever. Gasket then claims the earth in the name of the Royal House of Gadgetry. Alpha then laments how they need help even though Jason is busy. Alpha says he'll send down the Red Battle Zord and the Super Zeo Megazord and Alpha will just pilot them remotely. The two robots show up and Archery and Gasket fired all three of the giant robots. Then the Warrior Wheel comes in hitting the two. Then the Super Zeo Megazord just throws one of its sabers breaking Archerina's bow. Archerina and Gasket combine forces and they turn into energy balls to attack the rangers but no. The rangers just knock them back out of it. Then Jason has finished off the cogs and he calls out Pyramidus, forming the Zeo Ultra Zord with the others. They then just blow the absolute crap out of Archerina and Gasket and they claim that they're shrinking, but they're definitely just blowing up. Then Sprocket and Clank are celebrating and Gasket shows up, talking about how he's still going to be the king of the Machine Empire. But then Machina and Mondo show up, screaming at Gasket for even wanting to be king still. Gasket then says that he and Archerina have somewhere else to be for forever. Bye. They leave. Uh, okay. At the youth center, the rangers apologize for the luau getting ruined, and Ernie explains how someone came by and cleaned it all up for him. Then Tommy and Kat come in, who the others haven't seen all day. Apparently they went to the movies for a nice, quiet first date together. Then Bulk and Skull come up, wrapped up. Apparently they used ink instead of watercolor on their faces the other day, and now they're stuck until the ink wears off. Everyone laughs. The end. This episode's finally wrapping up all those little seeds that they planted about Tommy and Kat. Also, I guess Archerina and Gasket are just gone forever now. What a weird non-resolution that was. However, it is nice to see the family dynamic that's really blossomed from the Machine Empire because they really do show off just how much villain stuff is happening that the Rangers have no idea about. Other than that, it's just kind of a generic episode, except for the fact that we learn that Jason is losing the Gold Ranger powers, apparently. 
I mean, that's kind of random. I don't know why they're even doing this. So next time we enter the finale of Power Rangers Zio. Seriously, the final episode. How will they wrap up this entire season? Find out next time, but until then, may the power protect you. Yeah.